Hi, I'm pitcher Zach Duke. Follow the Pirates all season long on Trib Total Media. You played for free for a few years, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Independently. So. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, pretty much it worked out to pretty much 315 bucks every two weeks, I think it was. Wow. And one day a couple of us were joking around. We were trying to figure out what the minimum wage was at the time. And we just <laughs> we figured out we could work at the Waffle House 40 hours a week and uh, make a lot more money than we were making playing. But, you know, it's it's baseball, you know. You're in that level. You don't, you don't play for the money you're playing because you like to play. And... You know, there's a lot of guys that are, you know, still down there working hard to try and get to where I'm at. And, you know, certain guys, you know, Donnelly was an independent guy, too. There's a couple guys in here. So, you know, you know, weird things happen. And, you know, it's those leagues. If you plug along and hang in there, somebody takes a shot. You know, there's always a chance. You, you had sort of that rags to riches story last year with Seattle. Uh, you know, just sort of being the last guy standing whenever they finished. You know, taking everybody into the office and telling them, you know, thanks, we'll see you later, later this year. Yeah, you know, like we talked about, it was just kind of, it was kind of a running joke, you know. The, mm -hmm. This row of like five lockers and it was, we called the Survivor Island because it was, <laughs> I know, one by one guys were getting sent down and mm -hmm. myself and Sean Kelly, were, who ended up being my roommate, we were just still sitting there. We were yeah. like, unbelievable, we're still here. And we got about a week left and we we're like, we are still here. We're the only non-roster guy still on up here. And, mm -hmm. Got to that last day right before Big League Weekend up in Vegas, and you know they call yeah. us in, and you know that's what he and I have both been playing for. He, he we both joined Mariners, and both of us in 2007. So wow. both spent the, just amount of same amount of time in the minor leagues, and then broke mm -hmm. up, and you know had pretty good years last year. I guess after going through all that kind of stuff, the indie leagues and last year, nothing really, you know, nothing phases you when it comes to you know trying to make the club this year. No, you know. Adversity is one of those things, but it's just, you know, I'm taking the same the strides I took last year in spring. It's just, I'm in the same situation. I got new eyes on me again, kind of unknown over here in the mm -hmm. National League and with Pittsburgh. So you go out and you, you throw strikes, you get people out, and, you know, you don't worry about the, you know, you know, no offense, what the media's saying, what other guys are saying. You know, <laughs> yeah. you go out and you throw strikes, and, you know, the main thing is make decisions tough on people, make it hard on Neil, make it hard on Joe, make it hard on JR. You know, you try and make it so they cannot keep you up on the team, and that's what I did last year. And, Again, that's probably the exact same thing I'm doing again this year. It's just open eyes, throw strikes, get guys out, and make decisions tough. What's the hardest part about learning hitters in a new league? You know, I, it, you know, you, you see some guys, but you see them in spring training. You know, yeah. there's NL teams out in Arizona too, but you know, you're seeing guys that you know, everybody's working on something and. You know, you watch stuff on Sports Center or you know baseball tonight, but you know we've got enough video now. You just kind of go in and sit down for an hour and just run over guys. You know, you pick guys' brains that have been in the league for a while, Mahalam and Duke, and mm -hmm. you know you go from there. And if you got questions, you go to Kerrigan, and, or you just go right back to video or scouting reports. You know, the scouting reports you get are pretty extensively thorough, so you can go and see what guys hit, what guys don't hit, and stuff like that. But you know, pretty much this spring is going to be just watching guys that I don't know watch them in the spring, try and pick up habits they have, and then get into the video room and go on that. You spend more time picking Mahomes' brain about the fastball or about how to use the driver? Probably a little bit of both. Uh, but he